What's up y'all, it's your boy Cake Sorrow, and we're back here with another video. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone that supported me on my last Zen video, which was how to set it up. Currently we're sitting at like 1,200 views, we gained some subscribers, we're sitting at 50 likes. So if you haven't seen that video yet, or if you want more tutorials, please go check out that video, leave a like on that, subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications, join in on the streams and all that stuff. All my social medias is down below, and so is my second channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update, how to update your Zim Apex. Now the Zim Apex is such a cool device to me because with this and your phone, basically you can play basically any game you want. Now um, this video is going to be how to update it, so how to upgrade the firmware on top of it. This is not the same as how to update it in the Zim Manager. This is a completely separate thing. And this way is very simple. All you need is a computer or a laptop and your Zim itself. Now this video should be very simple. And if you guys have any more tutorials or any questions, do not hesitate to leave them down below or in my Discord, which is also in the description down below. Now, I am working on a Zim Manager video, but that video is taking a lot of time to edit. So that should be coming hopefully next week. But um, thank you guys so much for the support. Honestly, it means the world to me. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Peace out. All right guys, so we are currently on the Zim form. Right here, we have the Zim form and this is the latest update. Now this is the latest update as of March 10th, 2020. So this is the most recent one. And if you wanna find it again, all you have to do is look up Zim Apex update. So here we are. This is the most recent Zim Apex update, March 10th, 2020. Now that we're on this webpage, as you can see, it tells you what the update consists of. So it has support for Xbox Elite Series 2. It has Xbox One controller improvements, deactivation delay improvements, and micro aim optimizations. So all you need to do to update it is go over to download. And if you have a Mac, you're gonna click download for Mac, or if you have it for PC, you're gonna click download for PC. So of course I'm doing this on a PC. So I'm gonna click download for PC. Now, once it's done, it's gonna show up and you can click it and open it. So here we are. As you can see, it says to upgrade your Zim Apex, you're gonna plug in your Zim Apex while holding down the main button. You're gonna wait for your Apex to flash blue and then run this program. And then select update firmware and then disconnect your Apex. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my camera and record the whole process for you live so you guys can see exactly how quick, how easy it is to do and how simple it actually is. So let's turn on my camera and let's get this thing started. All right, so here is my Apex. And as you guys see on the instructions, it says you're gonna press and hold down the main button and plug it into your PC until it turns blue. So let's do that right now. Once it turns blue, you're gonna let go. Now it is blue and inside of my PC. The next step is to click update firmware. So it says your Zim Apex will be upgraded from firmware version, whichever one you have, until this one. So as you can see, I haven't updated my Sim since 2018. It says it right there, 1204 2018. And now my newest version is right here. So I'm gonna click update and it's flashing. So on my Zim, it's flashing different colors. Flashing, 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 flashing. Your Zim Apex was updated successfully. It is now safe to remove from your PC. So now, of course, all you do is remove it from your PC. And that is all it takes to update your Zim Apex. That's it. It literally, literally all you have to do is update the firmware, grab the firmware from the website, hold down the main button, Plug it into your PC until it turns blue. Once it turns blue, let it go, update it on the software, and then unplug it when it's done. And now it's updated. All the new features that they added, it is now on your Apex itself. Now to actually update the firmware, it is a completely different step. It is a completely different thing. And I'll be posting a video on that very soon. Hopefully next week, because the editing on this thing is it's taking a while, but hopefully you guys do actually enjoy it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to leave a like, subscribe, turn post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next Zim Apex tutorial. Peace out.